good morning class four students today we are going to study a beautiful poem by william blake the echoing green william blake was born in london uk in 1757 he learned to read and write at home blake began to write poetry when he was 12 years old songs of innocence and experience is his most famous collection of poems the echoing green is one of the songs of innocence and experience let us go through the poem the echoing green The sun does arise and makes happy the skies. The merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, the birds of the bush, sing louder around to the bells cheerful sound. While our sports shall be seen on the echoing green. The sun does arise and makes happy the skies. The merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, the birds of the bush, sing louder around to the bells' cheerful sound. While our sport shall be seen on the echoing green. The sun does arise and makes happy the skies, which means the poet says that. the sun rises and makes the sky happy that is when the sun rises light spreads across the sky making it look beautiful and fresh the the sun does arise and makes happy the skies when the sun rises light spreads across the sky making it look beautiful and fresh the poet says so The merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, the birds of the bush, sing louder around. Next, he says that the poet says that merry bells, merry bells ring to welcome the spring. Merry bells, probably the church bells, which ring every morning. they are merry because they welcome the beautiful morning of spring the poet says that the merry bells ring to welcome the spring merry bells probably the church bells which ring every morning they are so merry because they welcome the beautiful morning of spring the skylark and thrush what are skylark and thrush both are birds the skylark and thrush the birds of the bush sing louder around skylark and thrush fly high in the air the poet says that the skylark and thrush these birds fly high in the air while birds of the bush like sparrows remain near the ground thus according to the poet all the birds also sing in the spring morning loudly which adds to the joyful sounds of bell the poet says that the skylark and thrush the birds of the bush sing louder around to the bell cheerful sound all the birds like skylark thrush and sparrows all the birds according to the poet the poet says that all the birds also sing in the spring morning which adds to the joyful sound of bell church bell already every morning church bell rings so when these birds also sing in the morning the sound of church bell like the morning sound increases in simple words the chirping of all the birds and the ringing of bell welcome the spring every morning the singing of birds and the church bell welcome the spring to the bells cheerful sound while our sport shall be seen on the echoing green here while our sport shall be seen on the echoing green the poet says that while all these things are going on 
their spots are going on the echoing green which means here for the first time poet says that the speaker is a child who is playing with others in the green park which is echoing speaker is a child who is playing in the park along with others echo means a reflection of sound but here in this poem echo symbolizes the cycle of life because all this happen every morning birds singing is happening every morning children use it to play in the park every morning church bells ring every morning that's why the poet says that echo means in this poem cycle of life because all this happens every morning and keeps spreading the sun does arise and makes happy the skies the merry bells ring to welcome the spring the sky lark and thrush the birds of the bush sing louder around to the bells cheerful sound while our sport shall be seen on the echoing green old john with white hair does laugh away care sitting under the oak among the old folk they laugh at our play and soon they all say such such were the joys when we all girls and boys in our youth time were seen on the echoing green old john with white hair does laugh away care sitting under the oak among the old folk they laugh at our play and soon they all say such such were the joys when we all girls and boys in our youth time were seen on the echoing green the child says that old john with white hair laughs away care which means old john simply refers to an old man in this poem old john that simply refers to an old man and white hair depict his final years of life that means he is almost the last periods of his life very old man the child says that old john with white hair laughs away care old john simply refers to an old man and white hair depict his final years of life laugh away means forgetting the problems of life by being happy and laughing so here he laughs away he laugh away and care he laugh away care means he is forgetting the problems of life by being happy and laughing care here means the thoughts of being old and fear of death laugh away forgetting the problems of life by being happy and laughing care means thoughts of being old and fear of death thus the lines mean or the old john with white hair does laugh away care these lines mean that john who is an old man with gray hair is also in the park and is laughing without caring about his old age and approaching death not that in the previous stanza the children are too playing children are also playing in the first stanza we have seen children are also playing but they also don't know about the death or old age experiences because they were innocent and so they were never bothered about their old age or death hence they are innocent while this old man knows about all this life because he is very experienced and he has seen so many Uh, lives and so he know everything about life but ignores them by laughing he knows all the problems of life but ignores all problems by laughing sitting under the oak among the old folk they laugh at our play and soon they all say sitting under the oak the old man old john he is sitting under the oak tree along with others and all the people among the old folk other old people 
the old our old john he is sitting under the oak tree along with his friends or